it's your boy Rayman here, aka your Ray of Sunshine, baby, aka Mr. Mufasa in the building, baby. And we out here in nature, you know, and today we're chilling with lions in Batala Wild Reserve. So, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and you're gonna see a lot more of, you know, these adventures. probably wondering why I'm being so quiet it's because it's 5 30 in the morning now and we're making a two-hour journey back over near the border of Gambia to the Fatahala Nature Wildlife Reserve I mean you know you guessed it we're gonna go you know explore 6,000 hectares of natural nature lands with the wildlife you know uh, lions, rhinoceros, rhinos, giraffes um, antelope, you name it, man. We're gonna see loads of different birds. Uh, so, yeah, we've got a car, we're gonna try and catch one of those seven seaters. Guys, look, we flagged down a taxi. Just um, caught this Sharon taxi over here to the main road in Fatik. Are we in Fatik? Fat where, where are we? Kawala, Kawala, yeah, Kawala. Alright, guys, we just left this uh, Sharon taxi to get here to the main road here. And now we're gonna go look for another Sharon taxi to the other part of town so we can get close to the reserve. It's about six in the morning now. The sun is just coming up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, come on. So I guess, guess we're getting on the coach then. That was a change of plan. Never been on one of these before. This is new. <laughs> We, um, we're off the coach now and then we're going to get a, another sh a sharing taxi to the reserve. We're still another hour and a half away. When, uh, where, what area are we in? Tubakuta. Tubakuta. Yes. Tubakuta. Hey. I got to do it, Jenny. So yes, guys, we managed to secure a taxi here for 11,000, takes an hour and a half from um, where we are here to the reserve. We're gonna fill it up with engine oil now. Follow me, my man. The man here. I'll probably wait outside, you know, until they're ready to leave. It's really, really starting to warm up now. Guys, we kind of broke down en route. This is the second time it has happened to me, but and this is quite common in Senegal given like the age of the cars and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's old Peugeot from like 30 years ago. Yeah, the tire is gone. But yeah, the driver will quickly change it quickly. And um, actually, I might help him actually come off this camera. Look at this beautiful place we broke down in, man. It's a bonus, it's a win win. Let me help the driver fix this.
At the entrance, but we come across this tree and seen this fruit. I don't, if any of you guys can tell me what the name of this fruit is, um, they're, sun, they're just falling from the tree. <laughs> they look edible. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Look, you look. The inside looks like um, has one open, probably from a monkey or something. But the inside looks like, no, avocado, smashed avocado. Mmm, <laughs> smells sweet. Oh, it smells like like a mango <laughs> with a bit of a lime and avocado mixed in one. And passion fruit. Passion fruit. And passion fruit. Okay, we'll try this. Let's cut this open. We'll take it for you on the way out. Let them ripen and taste it. But yeah, we are. Look at this beautiful place. This is a yeah, yeah. wildlife reserve and a you know, hotel as well for any of you guys who want to come down here. I'll let you guys know the prices. I'll link the link in the description, etc. Hey, etc. Look, look how beautiful this is. Ah, tortoise. Another tortoise. He's sleeping. Yeah, sleeping. Right, guys, we've paid. We've paid for our tickets now. We're about to. We've our Jolla lady. Kasamoy. Kasamoy again. Hey, Kasamoy Bale. Wow. Paid. We are ready. What about her? Thick, yes. Wow. We'll take the sticks. the guide here that we're gonna um, be introduced to two lions two adults six years old one female one uh, male uh, we're gonna be introduced to them now we're just waiting for them and we're here on, in the safari or, or the, um, the reserve yeah. we've been told to carry these sticks as a sign of respect for the lions the guide has been um, you're walking with the lions since they were two weeks old and they've always carried these sticks so the lions are very familiar with anyone who carries this stick and if you don't carry this stick it could be it could be dangerous you know so we're going to respect the the code of the, the reserve and respect the lions in nature baby <laughs> can't wait I can see the lions coming. One of the other guys are bringing over a lion, and we're going to enter into the reserve. I can see them in the distance, it's a little while away. Can you hear them? Look, listen. Yeah, we're about to walk with the lions now and um, yeah we're gonna let them lead we're gonna respect their territory and respect the lions
there you have it guys we've done the walk with lions come this way it's best to stick together because you know if they feel like they're in hunting mode the lions they don't usually go for groups you know like like in the wild they'll go for you know the vulnerable um, prey uh, injured or the young or you know one that's outside of the group so let's get back to the group we don't want to get you know, eaten now <laughs> so after this guys we're gonna see we're gonna get a chance to see the baby lions okay. and were they like um, in danger before in South Africa or no they were really? just like they're born in captivity, in captivity because their parents are doing the same thing like yeah. this lion was in South Africa yeah. So when the park opened, they decided if they bring the lion up in Senegal also, it, it will be very nice. Because in West Africa, it's only Senegal that is doing this lion. Yes, yes, that's right, yes. Maybe in the other part of Africa, if you go to like South Africa, Zimbabwe Kenya. and Kenya, you can do lion work there. But in West Africa, it's only, oh, yeah, yes. only Senegal here in Qatar right, that you can right. walk with lion. Okay, okay. And, um and now, and now we're gonna go see the, the babies. Yes. Are these can. are these the babies of this? Yes, they are the babies of this, and they're born here in this, this tribe. Yeah. yeah. And they're born. Awesome. Guys, we're gonna see the baby lions, boy. Oh yeah, the cubs. Oh man, coming inside to the safari here, Fathala. So guys, here are the babies, and they don't look like babies to me, boy. But let's go. Remember, you have to stay calm and composed in these situations. Never show fear. Huge lions are so big. You see the size of their feet. These are the babies. <laughs> one year. Yes, male and female. One year? Only one year? Wow. One year. Yeah, only one year. Only one. Wow. <laughs> There we have it guys, that was you know, chilling with the, the baby lions, one female, one male, one years old, they weigh, they weigh um, 75 kg at the moment and they can grow up to um, in excess of 250 kg, so wow, and they were biting me, just like friendly biting, you know, playing, but I can tell you the, the, the pressure on their jaws is so powerful, let me come up here. And now, guys, we're going to go see, we did 6,000 hectares here. And we're going to go see all the giraffes, the rhinos, the antelope, all sorts of uh, warthogs, all sorts of animals. I can't wait, man. Um, we're going to say, say bye to them. Cheerio, Jeff. Bye. Au revoir. Mwah. Mwah. I love you. I love you. Uh -huh. check, check this out, man. I've just seen a man in the reception waiting for some food. I've just seen it, an alligator here, look. Look at that.
They call me Raymond Mufasa. You know I come from Mufasa. I was raised on the streets. I had to hustle just to eat. My role models were shopping food on the streets. Hey, I'm packing heat on the streets. Hey, so I knew I could never be weak. So I knew I would never be weak.